Tell us, guys, what what were the sort of the key frustrations or challenges for you um, at that time? You can go. Um, I think for me, it was mainly uh, like I have a bit of a mindset, you know, if if you do have the financial resources to pay someone to do a job that they know really well how to do, um, even though you could potentially also do it, but it would take you way more time and way more effort. Um, yeah. I think I was a bit at yeah that point where uh, we had some good savings and I knew that just having it there and the, lying on the bank, we <laughs> mm. we would potentially even lose money uh, with the situation right now. Um, and yeah, obviously also just being in lockdown and having a bit more time and um to 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 tackle these sort of things that you know you always have on your to-do list but never get around to because yes. uh, procrastinating <laughs> um uh, on them and yeah so the the biggest frustration i guess was just um i i didn't want to take the time to do all the research um just having come to australia i also didn't really know like the, the super um that's something completely new to me so I didn't know much about how does money work in Australia. Um, and yeah, like Walter mentioned, I think it was in 2019 where we had gone to a talk that you gave at General Assembly. Um, and then I had listened to several podcast stories um, and I had read, uh, you know, like blog posts on your website. Um, so I just got a bit familiar with that and sort of, okay, there, there are these options that you actually don't have to do it yourself and you can just mm. outsource, it and yes. outsource it and be like, just do it. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. um, and yeah. So I think the biggest frustration was just feeling a bit overwhelmed and just not wanting to deal with these sort of things, but at the same time, wanting to take action to actually, you know, put our money to work, so to speak, and not just having it there on the bank account, not not doing anything mm. with it. Yeah, well, I think with the ultra low interest rates uh, at the moment, that it is it is really front of mind for people. And and look, saving in the bank definitely has its place. I was having a conversation yesterday um, with someone, and I know that you guys are in a somewhat similar position in terms of your roadmap moving forward. Yeah. That you, when you got cash in the bank, it's great because it keeps you you got the flexibility. You don't run the risk of investing into say a share portfolio or ETFs or managed funds or whatever, mm -hmm. knowing that the markets can do the markets thing at the wrong time and well at maybe not the wrong time but not the ideal time, and then it stops you from doing some of the other things that you might otherwise want to do. Um, so it's it, it's sort of horses for courses and um, in that regard. But yeah, I, I think you you obviously want to you know yeah it's, it's not something that creates a lot of momentum from a financial perspective either so just finding that balance is important